There we go. So now you can see the cards a little bit better. So starting off with these cards, what is the universe trying to show you? Well, for one, Scorpios, the universe is trying to show you that your heart has been yearning and calling for you to go in the direction of your true north, wherever that may be leading you. Now, when it comes to these intuitive nudges that you could be feeling to either relocate or to go after that career or to go after that purpose or whatever this, again, maybe this very specific <laughs> for each and every one of you. Um, spirit is trying to show you, the universe is trying to show you how in order for you to get there, you're going to have to walk on a path that's very unique to you. Other people are not going to understand what you're trying to do. Other people are not going to maybe support you the way that you want to be supported because they may not see the full vision and the universe doesn't want you to stop because of that. Uh, another thing that I'm picking up on when it comes to you feeling lost or misguided or as if you don't really have an understanding of what you're supposed to be doing, where you're being led, the universe is trying to bring the attention back to self and back to getting centered within the heart chakra so you can be able to uh, have an understanding of where you're being led. Now, beyond that, the universe is also trying to show you guys how you are naturally abundant, how you are naturally somebody who can attract things to yourself when you recognize this about yourself. And when you're, what's the word I wanna use? When you're cognitive of how you use your energy. So with Blossoming Abundance showing up here, the universe is trying to show you that you don't have to chase after financial security. It's something that you guys naturally can acquire. It's just being in the space of knowing who you are naturally and stepping into that space of being more um, financially responsible as well. Um, what the universe is trying to show you, some of you, it's not that you need to make more money. You could be just needing to be a, sm a lot smarter, excuse me, with how money is being used or how you're leveraging your financial situation. For a lot of you too, your talents could pay your bills and the universe is trying to show you in your level of dedication to that, this could help you solidify um, a career of purpose, a career where you feel like you're doing something to add to the world, <laughs> to um, like contributing to your purpose. We also have the world card because I wanted to pull about four of these. So, okay, so interesting, interesting. Ooh, the universe is trying to show you that the more that you exist in your head about the things that you want to do, the longer it's going to be put off, okay? And for others of you, what you're paying attention to in terms of thoughts that you give life is what is going to dictate what your future looks like. So if you've been giving attention to maybe the more so negative thoughts that are telling you that it's not possible or that it's going to be a lot more difficult or this or that and you're believing it and then your actions are showing that you believe it then this could be creating delays and that's what the universe has been trying to get you guys to look closer at okay we have firefly wander let's put this down we also have Ancestry. Ooh, and we have Flamingo, which represents fun. Okay, so let's get into it. So the universe is also trying to show you that Mm, you guys may have a very different path than people around you, especially when it comes to you being maybe that different 
child in the family or what is it the black sheep yes if you were the black sheep in your family this reading is definitely for you because the universe is trying to show you in you being a black sheep in you having different desires for yourself than what your family could be you know maybe trying to project onto you in terms of what you're supposed to be doing or taking a different path as a whole, you could be breaking some sort of generational curses by you uh, going the extra mile to do certain things or, like I said, following your true north. Now, another thing I'm picking up on, there may be a need for you to heal your relationship with certain family members, with certain... Um, if not family members, the person you may have children with. There could be some sort of trauma that's unhealed that via those relationships being focused on or uh, worked, worked through, excuse me, this could heal that trauma. This could break that, that trauma that, that's been stuck below the surface. Anywho... Uh, Spirit is also trying to show you to have more fun. <laughs> if you've been so serious about everything to a point to where it's been making you clam up, it's been making you anxious, making you want to stay to yourself, Spirit wants you to be more so in this energy of not punishing yourself, but allowing yourself to live your life, <laughs> okay? And to find ways to create more fun moments, even in this present moment while things may not be a hundred percent perfect in your eyes spirit is saying also they want you to pay closer attention to how active you are in your hobbies like if you haven't been in tune with your inner child like how you usually would be whether that's making music painting whatever this may be um pay attention to yourself when you're not you got cut off but um pay attention to yourself when you are doing these activities versus when you're not because this could give you some insight as to what could help pick you up out of your moods whenever you get in low moments so let's continue what is the universe slash their spirit is trying to show them? So we have, have no fear. And it says, fear is a trap of the ego. Allow me to use my sword of light to free you from the disquieting feelings holding you back. So yes, the universe, your spirit guides are trying to show you that the more that you let fear be the basis of your decisions, your choices, it's going to be a hindrance. It's going to play out as blocked energy, okay? And at some point, you're going to have to face your fears or your fears will literally be your limitations, okay? Profound, profound. And the next card that we have here, open your heart. No one is perfect. Stop judging yourself and others and let love heal this situation. So this goes right back into what I was saying earlier about the heart chakra in order for you to receive especially when it comes to receiving new love into your life you have to remain in a space of openness you have to remain in a space of being willing to be loved and not carrying past experience or not even just past experiences but the residual energy of those past experiences into newer situations and putting those same standards onto other people that may have been fitting for, you know, people just in your past. But this is what I see. I hope that this reading was helpful and that you took something from it. If you did, definitely thumbs up the video, subscribe, and I will see my Scorpios in the next one.